Who has invested in more deals on Shark Tank, Mark Cuban or Kevin O'Leary? Who is better at investing money into new companies, ideas, and why? The sharks of Shark Tank, including Mark Cuban and Kevin O'Leary, a.k.a. Mr. Wonderful, are known for their aggressive deal-making and savvy investment strategies. But when it comes to who has sunk their teeth into more deals, Cuban clearly leads the way. Mark Cuban, a billionaire entrepreneur, jumped into the Shark Tank waters in its second season and quickly started making waves. Compared to O'Leary, Cuban has closed more deals. He's known for investing across various industries, not shying away from tech startups, entertainment pitches, or even the occasional food product that catches his attention. As for Kevin O'Leary, he's no small fish either. He's crafted a persona that's both feared and respected in the tank. But the numbers don't lie. And while O'Leary certainly has a significant number of investments, he doesn't edge out Cuban in quantity. However, Kevin is strategic, often looking for royalty deals or ventures that align with his expertise in software, education tech, and consumer products. So who's better at investing? That's a bit like asking whether a Porsche or a Ferrari is better. Each has its strengths depending on the track conditions, or market conditions if you will. Cuban's investments seem to be more diverse, which could be seen as spreading risk or seizing opportunity wherever it appears. He is not afraid to bet big and has a track record of success that includes owning the Dallas Mavericks and several other successful ventures before joining Shark Tank. O'Leary, in contrast, seems to enjoy his Mr. Wonderful moniker and drives a hard bargain, favoring deals that provide ongoing revenue. That might make him appear more conservative, but it's a strategy that can pay off by providing a steady stream of income. When evaluating who's better at investing in new companies and ideas, you'd need a detailed analysis of the success rate and return on investment, ROI, for each shark's portfolio. Unfortunately, much of this data isn't publicly available. We can, however, assume that both sharks are doing something right to have maintained their success and status on the show for so many seasons. Back here in Portland, Oregon, where startup culture is big, we value both diversity in investments and a strategic approach. Both sharks bring something different to the table. Cuban's willingness to take risks and go with his gut can result in big wins, which is inspiring for the entrepreneurial spirit that thrives in cities like Portland. On the other hand, O'Leary's calculated royalty deals resonate with the prudent, numbers-driven part of us, especially when we're looking at bootstrapped businesses that need to focus on cash flow. The bottom line is that different investment philosophies work for different investors and entrepreneurs. Whether you're pitching your heart out or investing your hard-earned cash, it's all about finding the right fit. And both Cuban and O'Leary have found their stride, making waves in their own unique styles in the shark-infested waters of the business world.